Hello and welcome to one of the best cryptocurrency technical analysis videos that I have ever produced for you over here on YouTube. Today I'm going to be sharing some knowledge and insights into the Bitcoin chart with you that you are just never going to see anywhere else. So make sure you're paying full attention. You got your notepad out to write some notes as we're going to be jumping straight into the Bitcoin chart and going over the next absolutely crucial levels inside this market for the next few weeks to come. As well as that, I'm going to be taking a quick look at the stock market. And as you can see in this very special video, I finally decided to add on the camera. It was worthy of the occasion. And today you can have my smile beaming through the camera to you as I'm feeling very positive, very happy. So I hope at the very least I can transmit this vibe to you and I can give you a bit of my positivity and, and happy thoughts today as we're going to be going through the Bitcoin chart to start off with here. Three steps, starting off with the Bitcoin chart, covering the past 12 hours of price action. So even if you missed this move, you can comprehend why the move happened. And that way you will not be missing the move again. Then I'm going to be moving on to actually a really quick announcement that I want to do. And then looking at the next most important levels to come into play here over the next few weeks. So uh, yeah, I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this one. And let's get straight into it. Starting off with this particular move that we had seen to the upside, topping out here. If you paid attention to my last video, I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, you pay attention to these videos and you're not gonna be disappointed because the levels that we give are just always absolutely well respected. And the next level that we had to, to the upside in that last video was this NPOC, 17275, if you paid attention correctly. And as we can see, when we add back on the analysis, we got the perfect wick onto that level. OK, I just want to share actually some insights into this that you're going to find really interesting. So we're going to zoom down here on a lower term time frame chart, such as the 30 minute is a pretty nice chart to be looking at here. OK, and I want to start off with, as always, actually, I think we'll come down to the 15 minute chart just so we can see the wick that we had onto that level. And I want to share a, a little bit of CC pool magic once again, a little bit of fun that we like to start off with here to bring the smiles. And that was what actually occurred yesterday uh, before we had seen this wick to the upside. OK, as you can see, I'm going to read from low to high, but you know, I myself and Igor were both expecting higher yesterday, obviously up and hit that NPOC. Um, so we are both expecting higher. And as you can see, we're expecting another push to the upside. And there was a funny comment here from Igor himself. And uh, he showed everybody his limit orders where he's waiting uh, for his limit orders to be filled. And he actually said that, hey, I missed the limit order that I was waiting for. It never got filled because we didn't go up high enough. We actually, of course, first of all, missed the NPOC. And so Igor commented in the group, hey, my limit order didn't get filled. So I had a little bit of fun here and I said to him, Igor, I can fix this for you. And you know what that means, right? <laughs> We're going to push price upwards to get those limit order short positions filled. Cheers, brother. Ha ha. Everybody is ready and waiting for what's happening next. I want to show you the absolute magic here. Please just check the timestamp on this along with me. This was posted yesterday at 11.27 a.m. UK time. So what we're going to actually do is come down to the one minute chart and I'm going to add on that timestamp of what happened here at 11.27 UK time. Well, <laughs> it was actually absolutely, per absolutely perfect. So this is the 11.27 timestamp. As you can see on that exact minute, we got the lovely push to the downside to swing failure pattern our last low. This is obviously able to then fill our long orders to push price up to that NPOC waiting for those short positions filled. So on the exact minute that I told my group, we can fix this, <laughs> we got the swing failure pattern to put in the absolute low. That was the absolute low for that rise to the upside to swing failure pattern onto the NPOC, the absolutely perfect reaction that we wanted, right? And then we've got our short positions filled. Okay, that is what we call a reaction, right? A long wick onto the level. I've told you once and I told you again, ladies and gentlemen, the difference between waiting for the reaction is you can just see that's that's a reaction clear as day. Or if you have the confidence Eagle and myself did, you could also just be having some limit orders set here and get into your market orders to back that up. 
But yeah, that was that was our little bit of fun and games to begin with. Igor telling everyone he hadn't actually got his short orders filled. We we obviously wanted that next push to the upside. Me coming in there at 11.27 to say, hey, let's get that fixed. Let's push the price up. And then with the same, the exact minute being the low of 11.27 to push us up for the NPOC that we were ready and waiting for. You know, that's actually been a level we've been ready to, you know, waiting for for a long time. So that was the little bit of fun that, as we can say, CC pool have an effect on this market. Um, <laughs> and then obviously what I'm going to be talking you through is the next few steps in relation as well to the stock market. And if I didn't just blow your mind by showing you what we managed to do yesterday, I'm actually going to, well, I think I'm going to absolutely blow your mind even more here. It's going to make it absolutely explode because this is special, what I'm about to share with you right now. This is extremely special. Um, so I'm going to share the, with you the insights of, of why I thought what I posted here. Okay. And it was this. It was two days ago, two days ago, back on the 30th of November, I posted to my team, I'm waiting for higher on Bitcoin and another push to the upside to at least that 17275 MPOC. OK, so I've made two bullish posts here on Bitcoin on the 30th of November. I'm reminding my team I'm looking for another push to the upside. I want to see higher on Bitcoin and it's to that 17725 NPOC. As well as that, I've told my team I'm also looking for higher on the ES, which is the stock market to 4110. OK, so at this time on the 30th, I was personally in no local short positions. OK, I was not in any short positions during this rise. Why? For the simple fact I was actually looking for higher and another push to the upside. So I'm not in any short positions yet. And at the same time, I'm also bullish on the ES and the stock market for another push to the upside there, too, to 4110. That was on the 30th of November. OK, so a few insights that I want to share with you here so you can really learn. First of all, recognizing the higher term time frame targets, understanding that means I'm not in a short position yet. There has not been a short opportunity here for the swing trade. And thus I am remaining out of shorts until we hit my higher target, which was the NPOC on Bitcoin at 17,275 and 4,110 on the ES. OK, I want to actually show you what happened next. Well, obviously, you can kind of guess. Uh, hopefully you can kind of guess here. As you can see, Champ has been on target, nailing the, the nailing the ES pivot. Chart Champions has been the single best investment in myself, learning a ton from the master. Well, I'm going to bring you back over to that discord. And as you can see here, we called the exact dollar high one day in advance. Obviously, on the Bitcoin, we got the perfect swing failure pattern. And on the ES, we actually hit this to the absolute dollar dollar high. I'm going to flip over to the ES here and just show you this. OK, lovely rally as predicted. And look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this candle. The 1st of December, 3 p.m. UK time, putting in the high, as you can see here, high at exactly 4,110. Is that a coincidence, ladies and gentlemen? Is that a coincidence that that was the exact level that we called one day in advance, the exact dollar of that high um, for obviously a, a very large reactionary drop to the downside? OK, we as soon as we hit that level, we got the drop. And I know a lot of people like to say, hey, Daniel, uh, obviously we are. It's official. Uh, CC pool together as a collective. We are trading billions of dollars inside of the cryptocurrency market, right? That is a known fact. That is a fact, as you could have seen from the uh, public Bybit leaderboards. We are trading billions of dollars on Bybit. And with that, a lot of people say, hey, you know, you're able to manipulate the market, you know, manipulate the market. Obviously, we can cause reactions at the markets naturally because we are trading with a lot of volume, a lot of a lot of size. But what I wanted to bring your attention to here is is we don't have that same sort of a reactionary status, so to speak, on the ES. Why? Because this is a trillion, multi-trillion dollar market. There's not, you know, this is, is this would be impossible to, you know, have the same sort of effect on the ES stock market, a multi-trillion dollar asset, right? So some people were saying, oh, your technical analysis only is only working because of the volume that you're putting through the market. Well, if that was the case, you know, that's also not true. That technical analysis at the end of the day just works, period. But here is absolute clear as light evidence for you that my technical analysis works across all markets. That was called one day in advance, 4,110. One day later, we hit 4,110 
to the exact dollar for an instant drop in price. Look at this on the one minute chart. One minute chart, ladies and gentlemen. Pump, 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 pump. Absolute 4,110 hits. Major sell off to the downside as soon as we hit that target. Okay. So, you know, some people are always going to be saying oh we're manipulating the market oh you're just using too much volume you're using too much size and all this sort of stuff well you know here you can say that all you want but at the end of the day the technical analysis that we are doing here works period across all markets you will see the theories that we teach and the education that we give you can use this to trade any altcoin you can choose tr use this to trade any commodity you can use this to trade forex you can use this to trade the stock market the levels and the technical analysis works period OK, period. It's regardless of how much we're trading. And this is a multi trillion dollar asset where I'm able to call the high to the exact dollar after a massive pump to the upside, topping out at the exact dollar level that I gave one day in advance. And is anyone even surprised at this magic anymore? That's absolute perfection. If I, you know, like whatever it was, you couldn't have got any more perfect than that. OK, um, so now I want to actually be moving on to what we're looking at next. Of course, we've now hit that major target on the ES. That's not to say the high is in yet, but nevertheless, we've hit that major target on the ES. And we have hit that major target on Bitcoin, which is the NPOC. So now I'm sure you're all very eager to know, is the bottom in on Bitcoin? Where are we going for next? And of course, that's what I'm going to be approaching uh, with my next levels here that I'm going to be giving you in, in this video. Uh, with that said, though, I would like to just do a little bit of a, uh, an announcement and, and talk through of a few things before we move on to what I'm looking at next here on the Bitcoin chart. And that is just reflecting as we're coming to the end of the year, uh, reflecting on a few things that have gone on within trading, within side chart champions and, and what, you know, how, how I'm feeling about this. And, and um, yeah, so let's just go straight into it. And it was actually brought to my attention yesterday. Um, you know, obviously right now, general chat is is on another level and we've got com people coming in here with their ideas, their analysis. And, you know, we're seeing some of the next best traders push through and, and have their light uh, absolutely, truly deserved. Um, and it was it was kind of funny. Um, I, I made this comment and it was just like, wow, it's, it's actually a really proud moment, right? When you compare general chat to, I mean, if you compared, if you were around in chart champions one, two, three years ago, you know, general chat was absolutely full of trolls. It was just full of memes. And now it's gone to something much more professional and helpful times 100. <laughs> um, you know, I, you know, I just reflect on this. And obviously I, I acknowledged I hope that my videos. Right. Um, we made some really big mistakes at chart champions and I was the first to actually come in here and take full responsibility of the mistakes that we made. Uh, it was something that I truly felt, yeah, this isn't good. We, we do need to change some things. We do need to work on a lot and we, we can take the feedback that we've received. And this year at Chart Champions uh, has been absolutely a big, big, big turnaround from what we were one year ago, two years ago to what we are today. I feel we've turned around from, you know, we had obviously always pushed for the best education and the best trading. But at the same time, we were lacking. We were, you know, there, I just think we were maybe a little bit complacent. And after receiving some of the feedback, which was extremely useful, we obviously acknowledged that feedback. I took big responsibility and, you know, said, hey, we are gonna make the changes. And I think it's absolutely un undeniable that since then, you know, we've added in, for example, on the website, we've added in the speed runs. People said our courses were too long. Well, we did, we reduced the size of all the course, every single video to a five minute version. Then people were saying they wanted live trading. Well, we added in live trading. OK, people were saying that they wanted, you know, there was too many templates that they were confusing. Well, we've reduced the amount of templates and we've left only the key templates now. Uh, people wanted the schedule. They didn't know what was happening. So we added the schedule. People wanted live daily updates. We added in live daily updates on live streams. Uh, also, people wanted the coaches only read only channel. Well, I added in the coaches only read only channel. Right. Um, so we, we listened to every bit of feedback that was received and we actually have implemented and worked on everything that we've received. And for us, that is that that, that, that for us as, as like a company and a business is very happy to see the wants of the customers met. And obviously we continue to push for more every day. So as we're coming to the end of the year, I think it was important to reflect on, you know, this was back in 
you know, five months ago saying, hey, I'm listening to the feedback. We're going to make the changes. And now here we are five months later. You can see every <laughs> everything that we had promised has been has been met here. And we obviously we're still working hard in the background. We're still, you know, in trying to increase that and it go, go, went from you know a year ago where you had you know people in general chat just general chat was full of memes and trolls and at the end of the day we've we've worked very hard to get, you know get move away from that a lot of the trolls and, and memers have left they are no longer in chart champions you know we even had people inside chart champions calling paying clients snowflakes which is just absolutely unacceptable that's obviously being dealt with and no more snowflakes around and so you know the whole the whole thing was very toxic you know five even five months ago it was it was a bit toxic but we've worked very hard on removing that we've now become to a next level professional community and it is even visible with inside general chat which i just feel very happy and proud about and it's of course not about the amount of uh posts it's just about the quality you know i come in here you can see here from the 30th giving the targets there's no more extra posts needed right so i'm only posting when it's absolutely needed remain patient or one day later we get those targets hit to the exact dollar okay so that's what i wanted to briefly talk you through there and now obviously i'm going to be moving on to what's happening next here inside of the bitcoin chart so it's still uh if i'm going to zoom i'm going to actually zoom out slightly here okay i'm going to zoom out slightly Okay, so obviously we have now hit this NPC 17275. So that naturally is no longer an NPC, right? This is a naked point of control. A naked point of control for the education is basically a point of control that is untapped, and we refer to that as as naked. Um, so if an untapped POC is on the chart, that's an NPC. Once tapped, of course, that is no longer naked per se, and so that's no longer an NPC level. So that that level can now be removed from the charts. And so here, naturally, we've now seen a very nice reaction from a higher term time frame level. Very, very nice indeed. It's not to say, as on the ES, we also hit a very nice high term time frame target. That does not mean that we cannot go higher. It just means the first time we tap these levels, right? The first time we tap these levels, these are the best opportunities for our short trades. So we could have very happily taken a short trade on the ES, instantly would have been in profits, instantly i'm pretty happy to say would have hit a take profit being the low of the move and the same on bitcoin okay 16900 was actually our big support level if you were paying attention 16900 well i'm talking about paying attention inside the discord but you know if you were listening to igor he made it very clear 16900 was a important support which is also now a very nice take profit one which has been here sixteen thousand nine hundred dollars so at the end of the day these big levels we look for the first taps these are our best opportunities right the first reactionary tap why because the more times that we hit a level the weaker it gets so all i'm going to say is this if we manage to find a strength to tap a second or a third time well this is going to become weaker level and naturally the weaker it gets the more we are likely to be looking for that next level to the upside which is then 17,555 right so it's a level to level game. The first tap of our level is the best trading opportunities. From here, we can have already locked in that take profit one, small percentage, to be honest with you. But nevertheless, hit the take profit one to protect ourselves that if we do break through to our next level, we're not losing anything. We are guaranteed profits. We're guaranteed to make money. And why are you in the game of trading? It's to make money. At the end of the day, yeah, the predictions and all this are nice. But at the end of the day, we're in here to make money could have been invalidated we could have gone through right, right through that level right we could have gone right through those levels i could have been wrong and they weren't the highs you know it's part of part of trading if we had just gone straight through the level well i'd have looked for my next level to the upside but i was right on this occasion both on the stock market and bitcoin were the highs and we had the reaction we were hoping to see and i it may have managed to take a nice short right so now it's a, a bit of patience for myself well, I'll be saying, OK, if we continue to tap this level, I will expect it to be broken and look for my next level to the upside. Uh, whereas if we do not see that strength and we do manage to hold this as resistance, well, I can be looking for my next level to the downside, which is really between 16 and 600. Nice high volume, though, to obviously the low of the CC here. So on a lower term time frame, a little bit more clear. OK, so the I mean, a few levels that you could be looking at really simply, you could be looking down here to around this low swing failure pattern zone, which is around 16700, but 16700 minor for the SFB bigger down here around 16600 to 16400 for the CCHVN zone. 
that for me would be a large zone of course if, if lost and no reaction I can look back down towards the daily or even the lows there at, you know back below 16k again so for me um, I will always say this ladies and gentlemen I'm, I, I you know I do make I even said this on my um, live stream that I done for the contenders on on Wednesday uh, this was a lot a round table <laughs> with myself and the other coaches <laughs> uh, but we obviously come in here we invite in the members the members can ask their their questions and it's a nice nice feeling as you can see it thank you all for changing lives you know people are really appreciating what we're doing right now but i said during this live stream yeah i know it's it's not that I, I can make this seem very easy right i can come in here say a level one day later it gets respected and, and we're winning trades again i can make that seem very easy but what you don't see is you know the hours and hours and hours and hours of hard work that it takes to do the initial technical analysis then present the analysis and then also the years of experience that it took me to first of all build these type of analysis build this tr strategy um you know that's what you don't see obviously i've been doing this more than 10 years you know inside the crypto space it's a very long time um you know you compare this to other people in this space it's a rhetorical question but how many people do you know that have been trading longer than 10 years you know there's not that many I stay around because I'm fully addicted to this. I'm fully addicted to this. I'm not going to lie. But also, I just truly love what I do. I just truly love trading. Uh, it, for me, this is a good addiction. I manage to, you know, have fun, make money. What more could I want? Have a brilliant community at my side. You know, like the, like the comments, we are able to change people's lives. You know, I'm absolutely loving what I do. But it is, it is um, you know, there aren't very many people that are... Um, you know that have the same experience and insights that i'm able to share with you so i'm obviously very proud to be able to come in here and share that with you the next levels that i'm looking for here um and you know that that would be my my thought process here in, inside of the inside of the market uh one one thing that i'll just i'm not going to read through this but i'll just give you if a heads up if you're interested but i did do a post over on twitter how to finish more work in four hours than 92 percent of people do in three days uh this is obviously a, a five pointer so if you're interested in reading that you can obviously read that over on twitter uh where i also say this is a great method to use when studying our course material at chartchampions.com uh so I, I, I will say this uh if you are interested uh in that you can obviously check it over on the website um where you know this is really for people that want to seriously learn technical analysis maybe people that really lack a lot of confidence in trading if you are somebody that lacks a lot of confidence well you can imagine the confidence booster that you would have saying you know i'm not in shorts i'm looking for higher another push to the upside let's still focus on that npoc the same on the es i'm still looking for higher you know if you're not high on confidence you might be shorting too early you might think oh the level's not actually going to be hit well imagine the confidence booster that you would have with me saying, well, these are still the targets. I'm still going for those levels. Let's get higher. And then you see the perfect reactions. You know, you can imagine the confidence is going to be aided by seeing myself and other, you know, legendary traders here coming in here with our analysis and giving you those, you know, those targets are still in place. So whether you are someone that just lacks confidence in trading, obviously via our education, you can level up on that regards and, and, and gain that confidence and start winning those trades. So, yeah, this is really a educational space for people that want to take this seriously, that do want to learn, that do want to better themselves, that have maybe been recently wrecked, lost a load of money. And, you know, they want to actually start to turn that around. Well, this is the place for you. Um, you know, we're more than happy to have you over in here and, and you, you, know, you can check this out and start your start your trading journey today. So whether it is the education or whether it is actually the live trading updates and live trading streams that we've now added, uh, you've got all that live content as well as the hours of educational content. We've got the best of both worlds and that's all for you over at chartchampions.com. I'm going to wrap up with this. Obviously, it's time to leave. What is it time to leave for? We got the, Lo the London sold out event. This is obviously all sold out. This was a ticketed event. All the tickets have now sold and this is the event that we got going on over in uh, nice little East here over in the big city of london so yeah that's what actually uh, it's time to leave for it's time for me to go over to london and get ready for our first ever in-person ticketed event here uh it's going to be really nice a nice little christmas special to enjoy with myself the other coaches and of course the members um so yeah whether you're going to be watching that via the live stream online or whether you're going to be with us in london inside of the sold out event i wish you all a happy weekend uh, truly for me uh, this has been a hell of a year obviously we've had ups and we've had downs 
but at the end of the day we have learned a lot myself personally how to understand i think the biggest thing i've learned this year is is recognizing trust i used to be a very trusting person i would trust absolutely everybody uh but now i uh, you know that has actually bit me a lot this year you know i've had my back stabbed many times so i've kind of changed my opinion on that but i think that's the biggest thing i've learned this year is 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 issues of trust but at the end of the day i think everything is positive everything from what we were to who we are now and who we can be tomorrow is only going to get better and better and better myself personally and us as a as a business and, and a model, model structure of chart champions we understood the criticism we made our mistakes we improved and listened to every bit of feedback and we're coming out much more positive not only myself not only the staff members not only the coaches not only the people behind the scenes but also the members inside general chat right we've got rid of you know we've got rid of the hate we've got rid of the trolls and now we're we're, we're much more loving and uh professional community and that's what you're here for at the end of the day to be you know inside of the the place that is going to be leading you and showing you the light inside of the trading community right so yeah, I'm going to wrap it up with that. Hopefully I've managed to pass on some positivity, managed to pass on some love, managed to pass on my smile and, uh, you know, give you some final words of, you know, everything is going to be all right. Whether you've lost a load of money this year, whether you've gained a load of money this year, you want to protect your capital, make sure you don't get that big spike and then lose it all, whether you've lost a lot and you're looking to rebuild it. Next year, 2023 is going to be a year for the champs. We're going to absolutely continue to crush it. Things uh, only move up from here and I'm going to just wrap it up with that. I'm going to say I love you all. I appreciate every single one of you, whether you love me or you hate me. I love you. I hate absolutely nobody. And, um, you know, everything can be put in the past. And let's just move on. Thank you ever so much. I hope that you've really enjoyed this video. If you have, you know what you to do. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe. Tick the notification bell. And reminder, we obviously still are going to be giving away that $100,000. Uh, see you all over in London sold out event. Thank you ever so much. And if you haven't already, of course, you've already had two live streams today. Most recent live stream was the Friday update from Victor. So you can catch that over on the website if you want to now as well. Cheers, everybody. Thank you ever so much. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to say that one more time. Thank you, everybody. Let's be prepared for what's to come. The next levels. And if you want the live updates on that, once we do hit those levels, then of course, you can get that over in the Discord. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. That's me signing out. And have a brilliant weekend ahead. Thank you and goodbye. Cheers.